Punching. <sighs> Let's talk about gear before we get into this stuff. Let's talk about gear. Eight foot, heavy action rod. Rod that I use is the eight foot Steez. The rod I was using before was their, um, uh, it's eight foot Steez. It's the only one that they make right now. We're coming out with a new one called the AGS eight footer for punching. Uh, super sensitive rod, amazing rod. I, yeah, I can't even tell you how great it is. Seven, three to one, gear ratio, same thing. 65 pound braid. I hear guys that punch with fluorocarbon, they punch with mono and they go, oh, I seem to get more bites. Bull crap, it's all in their head. Fishing, majority part about fishing is what's up here. I can't tell you how many times guys have told me, oh, well, you know, I was catching them on a green frog on top of the mat and they wouldn't eat a black one. And I'm just like, it's on top of a mat. You can't even see it. I mean, how do you, fish can't see it. They just know something's up there. It's all in the person's head. So 65 pound braided line, one ounce, one and a half ounce tungsten weight. Um, the rig is pretty much set up as bobber stopper, one ounce weight, to skirt or not to skirt is the question. I rig up both. When I want to catch a lot of fish, I put no punch skirt on there. When I want to catch bigger fish, I put a punch skirt on there or having a second option on it. Five aught, extra wide gap, super line hook, always in a straight shank. One knot that I tie, snail knot. Reason for that snail knot is the snail knot creates a cavitation when that hook hits the weight to hooking those fish in the roof of the mouth, hooking them in the eye and increasing your hookup percentage. Those fish will grab that bait, eat it, and you know turn on it, and it'll come straight out of their mouth if you don't have that um, snail knot. Snail knot is the most important part of the punch rig when you're getting it lined up. Let's talk a little bit more about the rod real quick though. Most people think that you need to have this extra heavy meat handle broomstick rod. You will miss more fish because of that rod. When I first started fishing the uh, Bassmaster Tour back in 99, and it's 2014, God, I'm old. 15, God, yeah, it makes me feel really old, thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> Greatest day of my life, one of my heroes, Denny Brower, asked me to go to dinner with him. Well, I'm like a little kid in a candy store, and I'm just, da -da 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 and he's like, son, cal calm down, calm down. I I'll answer all your questions. You don't understand. Denny Brower, I'm like, I love to flip, and this is my guy. I grew up in California, and I've been fortunate enough to learn from some of the best flippers. The guy who invented it, D. Thomas, Dave Glebe, these were the guys from the West Coast who invented flipping. Denny Brower just took it to that next level. Denny's at dinner, and I'm like, Denny, uh, you got, I want to know, tell me everything. And I'm just like, please. I'm like, well, I can be your adopted son. I'm just, whatever you, I'm, I will wash your truck, your boat. Just teach me the ways of the flipping stick. And he goes, I'll give you one thing. And I said, okay. And my ears are like out to here. He's like, softer tip action rods will land more fish. He goes, have you ever watched Tommy Biffle? and he loses fish consistently flipping. And I go, yeah. He goes, his rods are broom handle rods. You can basically hit a baseball with Tommy Biffle's rods. And I'm just like, oh. And so then immediately, I am Daiwa guy for life at that point. Grab Daiwa flipping stick. I'm like, man, this thing's soft. And he goes, the softer action tips will allow that fish to grab onto that bait a little bit more. And then when you set the hook, it's just gonna hook him better. So remember this, you don't want a meat, hamel, meat handle, broom handle rod. You want something that's got a heavy action to it, but would definitely something of a medium heavy action tip to it. And when I'm talking medium heavy action, we're talking about, you know, 18 inches of that rod being a little bit softer than the, rod, the rest of the rod itself. 